Hello again, friends. Rick Calvert for Empty Caps Company. You know, the number one most asked question that we get on EmptyCaps.com is this. How many milligrams can I fit into a size double O capsule? Or size triple O or size one? The question is the same, just the capsule sizes are different. Problem is, milligrams a measurement of weight and not volume. So in order to really precisely know the weight of an individual capsule, we gotta have more to go on than just the capsule size itself. So, how do we figure out how many milligrams go into a capsule? What's the scoop? This is the scoop. This is the Captain Quick measuring scoop from Empty Caps Company. And with it, you can determine the weight that's going into your capsules. First, you're going to need a precision scale, something capable of measuring any weights between one-tenth of a gram or a .1 gram and up to about 200 grams. You can usually find one pretty inexpensively online for 20 or $30. For the purpose of example, in this case, we're going to be using the size triple O capsule. However, the math works for any size capsule. The only thing that changes is the number of scoops that you'll use. The volume of 50 size triple zero gelatin capsules is the equivalent of seven Captain Quick measuring scoops. However, one powder can weigh more or less than another depending on that powder's density. For example, in this demonstration, you can see that one scoop of granular sugar weighs 8,700 milligrams, while the same size scoop of flour weighs only 6,100 milligrams. Same volume, different weights. So here's the way to weigh individual capsules accurately. First, use the correct number of scoops for whatever is required for 50 capsules, whatever size you're using. In this case, triple O, seven scoops of powder. If you're going to tamp down the powder into the capsule, make sure that you also tamp the powder into the scoop as well. Next, measure the weight of the powder only by zeroing out the plastic bowl on your scale and then adding the correct number of scoops to your bowl. When you get that figure, then what you'll want to do is take that number, multiply it by 1,000, and divide by 50. And that will give you the weight that will go into the capsules when you spread the powder into the Captain Quick. So, that's the scoop. How to determine the individual weight of capsules in milligrams using the Captain Quick measuring scoop. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us online, http emptycaps.com forward slash blog. I'm Rick Calvert. Thanks for watching.